Hi everyone. I'm just going to show you real quickly how easy it is to set up a mock-up site and even do some editing on this platform, MobiBiz CMS, uh, the multi-client mobile website builder. So we're going to go ahead and log into the software and we're going to create a new site. Alright, hit create site. Boom, we have site successfully created. Now when we did that, it automatically creates a sample, a preset sample site for us. Uh, so to actually do the building, we're going to go ahead and log in as that client. And this is what they would see when they log in. <clears throat> this dashboard right here is our client dashboard. So here's our sample site that it's set up, um, and here's the sample pages. That's it. That's as quick as uh, it comes setting up a quick mock-up. We just need to make some minor adjustments here. So let's go ahead and uh, let me explain uh, a couple things real quick. So how it works is uh, we create pages. Here are our pages. We can change the order in which those appear on the menu, delete pages, and edit them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our home page. Uh, each page comes with a QR code where you can link directly to it. Uh, print out the QR code for marketing resources or any marketing material, print material. And each page consists of what we call widgets. We have several different widget options here. Uh, if you want to just look at those real quick the most important one is our text slash HTML pretty much if you don't see a widget here that will do something you need done you can take care of it through HTML uh, that is where major customization work can take place uh, if you know HTML if not it's not required to get a nice site for a business up and running that looks good and has all the information they need but you definitely can do some advanced features with that HTML uh, so let's see each widget is uh, on here we have an image that would be the logo text that's the company slogan contact icons for a tap to call tap to email and go to the, the desktop website we have another text widget, we have an image widget, and some social icons, and then our menu. So I just personally, when I want to land a new client and I want to have a preview done for them, uh, typically I just take care of the home page with their logo and, and everything, and I leave the other pages with the sample information that comes on it. Uh, we add that later after they become a paying customer, which only takes another several minutes to go through, get their information, pull it off of their website, or have them provide it to you and change out those pages to match uh, the needs that they require. So uh, let's change some of these elements here real quick. Um, first we're going to go to our media section and we're going to upload some images here. Here's the logo. and a construction image alright let's go back to our pages now I definitely want to change that logo so we'll go to our home page click on the first image which would be the logo and change it here alright and next I would like to Let's go back to the home page and the image we have here. We're going to change that. Go 
click on that and change it to this construction image. So let's see, there we go. Let's say we wanted to change this text here. We would just click on that. And we have a what you see is what you get editor. We can change this text. Uh, we can make it bold, italic, strike through, underline, align it, uh, indent it, bullet point it, create links, insert images, change font size, font color, and right here is our magical HTML. So uh, I'm not going to go through all this right now. I'm just going to show you a couple more things here just so you get the idea. Um, this header text up here and colors of the different backgrounds and elements that's all adjusted in on our settings page so I'm going to show you how to change that um, we're going to come up here to settings and here we go there's a uh, little sample image here that kind of describes what each of these uh, different elements and colors uh, are going to change so the header bar we want to change that to just a nice blue to match the logo so we'll do this um, we want to change links to somewhere around the same color uh, here's our header text and we have a custom CSS section uh, once again not required but if you do know CSS or you would like to look up some tutorials online it's very easy to learn and you can basically change any any of the design aspects colors and um, borders uh, all through s using CSS here uh, right now it's being used to display a background image so it's not just a uh, plain color otherwise it would just show this plain color that we would set here um, so that's just to give you an example of how to display a background image we also have a spot for Google Analytics or any other tracking system um, that you would like to use or your client may use pop in the code here and it will place that code on every single page of their site so visitors and um, referring URLs and all of that can be tracked. We're going to go ahead and hit update here and go back. And now you can see we changed that color. So simple as that. Um, one th last thing that I would do uh, for um, this mock-up other than finish changing this home text would be to change the menu page since it's not a restaurant uh, they obviously won't have entrees or food uh, I would change that to services and uh, put some text on it accordingly and uh, there we go um, let's go back and see it has now been changed to services so simple as that we're gonna log out here and the last thing I would do is uh, I would either do a walk-in a cold call or in the case where I would like to do some email marketing to potential clients I would utilize this compare page feature within my email uh, so they could get a uh, actual look at what their website, current website looks like on a mobile phone and the mock-up that we created, what it looks like. And the mock-up is actually interactive, so they can uh, go through that, click on uh, different pages if they are interested. Uh, right here, opt-in form, they can give name, email address, messages pre-filled, they can add to it, hit submit and it would send you an email letting you know that that customer is interested in uh, finding out more information about their web uh, getting a mobile site
from that point you can follow up with them and uh, close the sale so uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial or this little walk walkthrough and uh, good luck to you all